Welcome back to my channel, it is Lydia. I hope you have your passport ready, bags packed, because we are off to a wedding in South Africa. We'll be taking you along for the next four days to witness Winnie and Andrew's stunning South African wedding. This is our Uber. Guys, the sunset. Oh, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Kay, here I come for you. We're gonna go see Kay. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Welcome to South Africa. I'm here with my ball. He's here, guys. This is our first, literally we've been in the country for the last like maybe four or five hours or so. We got here around 2 p.m. and it's now 6 p.m. and we're already off and out. I'm off to go and have dinner, not just I. We are off to go and have dinner with Kay, Kay Yums. I'm so freaking excited. Literally haven't even slept. <laughs> just got into the hotel, had a little change and then now we're en route to go and have dinner. I'm really very much excited. South Africa so far, like it's like I don't know what to expect. I, I don't know what I had in mind as to what South Africa looks like, but I'm just, I haven't placed it yet, but it's beautiful. Well, Cape Town, yeah. Cheers! Yeah. Happy birthday to Kay! Thank you. Oh, oh, I didn't clink you, I didn't clink you. I got a look in the eye. <laughs> oh, baby, 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 baby. Yes, yes. Okay, clink, clink, clink. Into the eye. Oh! Ooh. Oh <laughs> All right, what's going on here is crazy. We have Tabasco going into the tequila. Yep. Kay's got hers on top. And at the bottom. And at the bottom too. Oh my God, babe, let me do that. A warm welcome to us. In South Africa. South Africa, cheers. I'm trying to get all those glasses. I like that. I didn't, I didn't yeah. put Tabasco in the shop. Oh, you put it in the shop? Man, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna put it in the shot next time. Right, that means we need one more round. That means oh, yeah. we need to order some food. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, that's what we got. Thanks, guys. Oh, you're most welcome. Welcome to the birthday girl. Yeah, it's turning 28, I know. Hey! Do you know what it is? It looks like young 
Oh, well, she knows. She already knows. Yeah, long time thank, you. thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, and you're here with all, you know, the most influential influencers. That's what I do. That's what I do. That's my, that's my friend. That's my girl. Yeah, she thought she's meeting me, but she's not meeting me. I'm just a fan. <laughs> no, but you said hi. You said yeah. hi, and it was really sweet. Look who I'm with. Birthday girl, guys! Look, I'm with my fave. I'm with my absolute actual. I'm fangirling hard, and I flew all the way here for her birthday. <laughs> girl, you lying? We came here for a wedding, but it is her birthday tomorrow. Yes. One time for the birthday girl, two time for the birthday girl, three time for the. We're about to go and do some shisha now. Had some sushi, banging sushi, absolutely delicious sushi, and some lab. I'm here with my baby who's at the back. It's Kay's birthday in the next like two hours. So we are very much looking forward to turning up, having some sushi, and just having a good old time. South Africa, what's good? It's the Mercedes babes for me. Ooh, I know that's right. I know that's right. The girls are get it, get it. The girls are don't. Yeah, maybe on, maybe <laughs> We are at a petrol station and literally one of my most favorite things ever in this life is this and there's an attendant you see behind me there's an attendant filling uh, up the petrol cleaning up the windscreen it could never happen in the uk and we think it's so cool we actually have like photo shoots pouring our own gas and it's like what are you doing you what, what you have a you have a photo shoot pour. yeah you should, you should come and fill up the gas in my house honestly so fill up the gas in my car because you can shoot every single day if you want we absolutely <laughs> i hate it and i always fill up my tank all the way to the top so i can do it the least amount really? of times as possible yeah all the way to the top so that i can do it like once a month or like once every two weeks or whatever oh. it's otherwise it's hood but look there's literally somebody cleaning up windows this is like the treatment we get in kenya as this well. is luxury <laughs> this is lux do you guys have to tip them as well or not really yeah. you don't have to but i mean if you wanna yeah. you can you, you know? can it just depends on like the service you get i guess yeah and if you have like anything if you have coins and stuff it's yeah. good to tip organized for the wedding party to get around so we have arrived at our first activity which is frank french hawk wine tour there has been a big coach which was organized for the wedding party tour let's go and see what this is all about guys the weather is giving uk bloody freezing it's been raining and it's just not the vibe but hopefully it clears up this is the coach that we came with springbok and then that's the trans right there this is the wedding party. This is the ticket and I've got a little sticker that goes on it as well. It should be on me but I'm not putting that on me. Guys, I'm having an issue with my eyes. My eyes can't focus. It's so frustrating. Like I literally... I don't know what's going on. We are going to take you guys to your first job, Grand Provence. After Grand Provence, we take you to Rickety Bridge, where they make this lovely wine that you guys are tasting. The wine that you guys are tasting now is called the Foundation Stone White Wine. A blend of six grapes. Some of the grapes that you guys are enjoying there, lovely Chenin Blanc, Granache Blanc. I know you are going to visit Rickety Bridge, where you are going to enjoy some lovely pizza and wine. You are going to enjoy a lovely tractor ride. It's going to be a lovely day. Those of you who like to take some pictures, that is a good place for you guys to take it. Welcome to the beautiful Grand Provence. So this is where you guys are going to start. Let's go and enjoy some lovely sparkling wine. I can see your tractor is already waiting for you, our African Lamborghini. <laughs> 
Good afternoon guys, we're now in the wine tram tour. When you first get in, they give you a little glass of wine. I'm with it. They give you a glass so that you can top up the wine. And then upstairs, let me show you upstairs, it's real cute. We've got these little stairs. And then the rest of the team is up here. Most of the people are up here. Look at the views. <gasps> Look at that. We're on a tram. And there's a vineyard on the left there. There's two different like groups. The first group have come off to go and see the first vineyard. And then we are still on board here, as you can see. The majority of the group here. But this is so cute. It's just a shame that today is a rainy day, so it's all wet. I would have sat here, I would have taken a cute pic here, but we shall see. Let me go and get my wine at Top Top and then get going. Did you Pretty get that chair when you got here? <laughs> <laughs> Lexi's just come from the airport literally just now. So everybody's giving her a big fat chair. I have no idea what it is. I think it's Rickety Bridge Winery. So we're gonna go here and enjoy some wine. But guys, the weather is absolutely trash. It's not giving SA, it's not giving absolutely Africa, it's not giving anything, it's just giving cloud, heavy cloud at that. So we'll see. The rain, guys, this is ridiculous. What? How is it raining on the day that we come for a wine tram tour? Good and proper as well. And I think we're about to have some lunch, just like a lunch spot. Everybody here for lunch? Everybody here, hey baby. that we're about to go into this is going to take us to the next part of the tour so let me show you the view the view is insane are you getting that are you getting the mountains are you getting the vineyard are you getting the cloud <laughs> so yeah the whole group is about to come on board so let me get my seat Guys, that we love that. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you. Wow. Stunning stuff. Thus far, we will change two narratives. The first one is that it doesn't matter where you born born from, it's possible. It's possible that the child of a farm laborer can be a farm owner. Yes. It's possible that children of domestic workers in your homes must be doctors. Yes. And we hope that that narrative will carry through to the mines in the north, where the children of those mine workers start owning the mines. Yes. I want to thank you for choosing to give us a chance today and enjoy our wines and thank you for your support. Woo! I'm sitting here with Paul, who is the owner of this black-owned vineyard. Paul, please. 
tell us everything. Welcome, Lydia, and thank you for visiting us. Welcome to Glen Fuderest Wines. Yeah. We are the first and only 100% black on farm in Franschhoek, South Africa. Our winemaker yeah. and I grew up on the same farm. Next Great. door neighbors. He Great. went to study wines, I went to study business. Yeah. After and then you made it together. time, we bought this farm. And we appreciate you coming to visit us and support us. Oh, we're so glad to be here. And we're so glad to even share you and your platform and the vineyard with the audience. Guys, if you're in SA, you got to visit. Glen Goederest in French. Because you know I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave it linked below you guys. You guys have to come and check it out. It's an absolutely stunning place. Location is beautiful. The scenery around. You've got the mountains. And it's black owned. Yep. Oh, come on. 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10. So 12 cheers. Out of 10. Cheers. 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 Cheers, Lydia. Ah! Thank you, guys. So this is the third and final vineyard that we are coming to you guys. This place is stunning. It'd be so much better if it wasn't raining. And we're gonna go in here for some more wine tasting. To be honest, I don't even know what wine I'm tasting at this point. I'm just drinking. <laughs> I'm drinking. <laughs> upsetting me that I need to keep walking away from the group because there's music playing and this is how we got the Jamaica vlog demonetized it's so upsetting I can't be with a vibe to vlog the vibe guys it's such a vibe we are here at I don't even know what the name of the winery is called <laughs> I just know there's grapes there's grapes there's grapes on the side I don't know if I'm allowed to pick the grapes but I'm gonna pick the grapes they're seeded I know because I've been eating them. They're really sweet. So we are in this third and final wine yard, vineyard and it's really cute out here. It's so, so lovely. Guys, we've drank so much wine. We've been drinking wine from like 10 a.m. this morning. It's about 6 p.m. We've been drinking, 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 drinking. I'm not even allowed to say the word drink because we're even playing a, dr a game earlier where you're not allowed to say the word drink. Yeah, I'm just upset that you guys can't really join in the vibe because last time I, I, I let you guys join the vibe, I got demonetized. Just know that everybody's here. We're having a good time, having the best time. Here's my boo. He's here supporting. We're about to take some cute right banging lake, right shots there. by the lake, apparently. Mm -hmm. Last time we went strawberry picking, it said no, yeah, no, yeah, let's go there. It said no, no strawberries. No eating of the strawberries. We're like, yeah, okay, cool. Cool story, bro. Gotta test them out. Gotta make sure that they're safe. I'm really enjoying it. This place is stunning. Let me show you around. Absolutely stunning. You see the lake? This little artificial lake, little pond situation. And this is where the house is. And everybody is upstairs in this room here getting super lit. All right, let's get this work done. Hey, if no one's had enough wine, <laughs> come to the back of the bus. What are you doing back there? Oh my God. Fast wine and slow wine and the Now we're just coming off this and we're gonna go back into the big coach and head back to Camp Bay. Good evening, guys evening we are back from wine tasting wine drinking just drinking 
it was just an excuse to drink the whole day i even have a bottle of wine here that was so kindly gifted to us by the owner of the vineyard but he was saying that they used to actually work in the on in the farm in a farm his parents used to work in a farm before and then he did as well and then now that he actually owns one um it's been three years since they owned one and they're making really great progress so that's amazing but we're just walking in the middle of the road here trying to head to our hotel the vibes have been great so far today was a really really good day now we're just making our way back to our hotel it's like a four minute walk um down the hill thank goodness and then we're meeting everybody else at 9 p.m for dinner so looking forward to that but guys i'm feeling tired you know last night we went out and we came back at like 2 a.m and then now we're out again today at 8 a.m in the morning guys look at the streets of um camp bay this is cape town this place looks so familiar that's the word I could say is it just looks super familiar. It looks like I could be in London, I could be in Europe. Like, where am I? Can't believe it. this is literally South Africa. It's stunning. So neat, so clean. We are off to dinner again. Same spot as yesterday. Well, same spot for car pickup. We will pick up. Let's go and have dinner with everybody else. We are gonna head out and go to Table Table Mountain. The weather has been terrible this morning, so we're actually just leaving. This is our surrounding area, and the Ubers just usually stop up here. Good afternoon. I'm looking at the camera and I can't even see because the sun is right in my eye. And the reason that is is because I don't have my sunglasses and I don't have my sunglasses because the weather was absolutely horrible this morning. Like literally rain, clouds, just big grey clouds. We literally picked the worst week to come to South Africa. So I'm calling this my soft launch. This is my soft launch trip to SA because the weather hasn't done anything at all for us. It's so cold guys, it's so cold, it's been raining, it's been wet, it's been horrible the whole entire day. I'm even wearing a hoodie, I'm wearing a hoodie in South Africa, what? Definitely coming back, like literally I have to come back again because there's so much stuff that I wanted to do and we just haven't been able to do it. One, because we're here with the wedding party so there's like a whole group. Actually, this morning Damini um, went and met up with the group and they went to Robin Island so he's going to tell you all about that. So for those who don't know, Robin Island is the island where the legendary figure Nelson Mandela was imprisoned for 18 years. It's an island that is about nine miles, I think, off the coast of Cape Town where they used to imprison a lot of people. So what you're about to see is us on a coach tour where they basically give us the breakdown of how the island became used as a prison and the types of people it imprisoned until it was eventually closed down. We are now in F section courtyard where we used to eat and exercise. We were forced to squat us there to eat, whether it's raining or not raining. And also around this prison, there are some two towers. So each and every tower, there were some two guards carrying R1 rifle machine guns. Those guards were waiting for any inconvenience that may happen here on Robin Island to shoot to kill. So let's proceed. They had 60, 60 people sleeping in a cell like this at any given time and they'd sleep on these mats on the floor. There was no glass in the windows um, and if you were black, uh, you could only wear shorts, t-shirts, no underwear, no socks. There were no white people here. Um, if you were Asian or coloured, you were allowed to wear long sleeve 
shirt as underwear and so on and so forth. They only got to shower three times a day. Sorry, three times a week. Um, and uh, if they didn't shower, they were put into solitary confinement. Crazy place, man. So I'm doing the walk, walk to freedom from the jail, Robin Island jail. And this was how they, they would get out. So yeah, we're back. It's about 4.30 p.m. And we just want to go in the cable cars and just try and seize the rest of the day. My eye is, oh, what's going on? Sis, why am I struggling like this in like my favorite country? What's going on? I'm just hoping for better weather, like tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually the wedding day. We're here for a wedding. I hope that we don't have the same start to the morning as we did today. So yeah. They've also got these sightseeing buses, like tour buses that they have in London as well. So I guess you could just come here as a tour group and come to the cable cars. That's what we're doing. Guys, my eye is still leaking. What's going on? Look, even booze in a jacket as well, guys. It's just not giving. Looking at this left door, guys, these are all of the attractions that you can visit. And I'm gonna come back and see every single one of them. Because look at all this fun that I'm not having. What? Oh, lift is here. Full on hoodie, trousers. It's cold. Oh, wow, okay. The, fl the floor is moving. Wow. Love <laughs> Guys, the, the floor is moving. <laughs> it's turning around. Wow. V&A waterfront finished the most delicious kind of late dinner lunch at Tasha's it was yummy so yummy I had the black rice with the squid and prawns and it was literally banging got some to take away um, now we are just in the shopping center we're going back into Zara we came in here earlier we wanted to get some he wanted to get some new smart shoes you know the wedding is happening tomorrow and that's the reason why we're here so he wanted to get some nice new smart shoes and now i'm going back into zara to look for a throw a jacket or something because i i can't i know i keep saying that it's cold but i can't express how unprepared i was for cold and for winter in africa so i'm here looking for basically just something to just cover me a jacket anything yeah but this sh this shopping center has got everything wow look at it's huge so so nice and there's even like a, a section here where it's all the really expensive shops and stuff oh my goodness guys i forgot to tell you earlier on when we were at table mountain where it was freezing cold <laughs> where we were when we were at table mountain i bumped into somebody who um watches my channel and it was so sweet what's up to you edith thanks for coming to say hi that was so sweet and then we came to vna here and there was another babe that we bumped into as well thank you so much and also thank you so much for all of the love that you guys shared when we landed in this country it was insane like i have never and i mean never received so much love from entering a country like that before so let me just let you know that we are coming back to SA. we're just kind of scouting our essay we're gonna come back for sure like this is this is not it i'm not here okay i'm just not here right now yet i'll be but oh diamonds <laughs> My man. Guys, I can't believe this. I'm going to have to buy <laughs> a quote. I might just go for a plain black one, though I really actually just want to wear this one, but this is just not practical at all. If I buy this coat, I'll wear it once. 
I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go for the black one. This is so depressing. This is not what I had in mind for South Africa. Like, ever, 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 ever in my life. But like I said, we're coming back. Okay, let's go and pay for this and then head back to Camps Bay. Morning guys, so I am half ready, I'm getting ready, it's the morning of the wedding and we're literally in the biggest rush but the drone is stuck in the air. I don't even know, there's always something wrong with the drones, like we work so hard to bring you guys the most amazing content but there is always something wrong. So I'm just going back in, this is where we're staying, this is the hotel we're staying at and I'm just going to go back in and out and try and get it. Good chance to give you a quick tour, entryway, more rooms down that way, go down this way to reception and the pool area as well. Morning! Guys, we're in such a rush. Morning! Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm fab. Our drone is stuck in the air. This is the breakfast room, guys, where we have breakfast, the little pool area, and I need to go down. <laughs> There's the drone, it's stuck in the air. Guys, what is wrong with our life? Oh my God, right in the road as well. Guys, I need to cross the road. Save, say a prayer for me. got the drone back Woo! every single time the last one we lost at sea this one was stuck in the air oh! <laughs> but we're back so now i'm gonna go and finish getting ready because my eyebrows are looking crazy but we are so freaking excited for winnie and andrew's wedding like let's get to it we're having a beautiful morning look at views from the hotel cool stunning stunning so that is the main hotel there. And then I'll show you where we are staying. You just turn like this, and then you take this left in here by these gorgeous plants straight through. This is us down these stairs. This ring as a sign of our marriage with my body i honor you i honor you all that i am all that i am i give to you i give to you all that i have i share with you i share with you within the love of god father son, son and, holy and holy spirit amen Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Good morning, guys. Good morning. Checking in from our last morning here in Saudi. I just learned that last night that everyone names it, calls it Saudi. Is it Saudi? Is that how I say it? <laughs> guys, on our very last day, look at all of this sunshine. Like the weather is back to normal. We literally just picked the very worst week. The worst week to come to South Africa is the week that we picked. And we had the worst weather all week long, all week. And now on our last day, look, the sun is literally beaming down and it's only about 10.30. Like, it's just ridiculous. But it's okay, this is our recce trip. Like I said before, we were here just for the wedding, which really meant that the itinerary was so packed. It was just all wedding related and coupled with the weather, it just, it's not the South Africa that I know. It's not, okay? And then we lost our drone yesterday. It's just been a hectic one, but we've come, we've seen, we know where to stay, we know what to do. So next time, mark my words, this is not the last that South Africa is seeing of me, like ever. So we shall be back for sure for a proper trip in SA on our own, you know, with our own itinerary. Right now we are just waiting for our Uber to come pick us up and drop us off the airport. And that is pretty much us here in SA. Like what a week. <laughs> What a week, what a week, but we are coming back. Please, Saudi, mark my words. Thank you so, so much. Before I go, I wanna say a big thank you to every single one of you who made me feel so welcome when I touched down SA. I'll be back. I'll be back and I promise when I come back, we're doing a meet and greet. I promise, guys, I'm not just saying this stuff. I really do promise, because I'm coming back. Much love. Mwah.